breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Edsman killed 16 in fresh attack on Enugu community. Edsman killed 16 in fresh attack on Enugu community. So my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Suspected men have killed 16 people, including women and children, in an attack on Ebo Autonomous Community in Eha Mufu, under Isiuzo local government area of Enugu State. Report said that the fresh killings occurred on Thursday when the gunmen suspected to be headsmen along with collaborators from Benue State launched an attack on Ebo Ishielu village. Community sources told Sarah reporters that the assailants wore military uniforms which deceived the people and made them relax when they first saw them. Some residents who spoke to the medium said as of 9 a.m. on Friday, the number of bodies recovered was 16 and that a search for missing people was still ongoing. Several people also sustained gunshot injuries, while about seven houses were raised by the invading assailant. Ondukwil Olinya, a native of Abolishialu, said that it was difficult to determine the number of people killed because so many people had deserted the community. He said, we have recovered 16 bodies of our brothers and sisters killed. Among the victims are five women and seven children. The number could rise as the search continues. The assailants wore military uniforms, and that was why they got many people. People felt that they were soldiers who came to protect them and relaxed before they suddenly opened fire on the people. We believed they were not only headsmen. Some of the assailants are from Benue State. A community leader, Chief Maxwell Olia, while corroborating all those accounts, said, On Thursday, December 8, 2022, is the darkest day in the history of Ebo community. I lack, I lack the words to describe what is happening in my community. The security agencies are not helping us. The soldiers are holy at checkpoints on the major roads, harassing motorists. The attacks don't come through the roads, they are in the bushes. Why can't the government deploy drones and attack helicopters to check the bushes? You see military helicopters when they, soldiers, are chasing members of the indigenous people of Biafra Life Up and its armed wing, Eastern Security Network, ESN. Although some of them are criminals like seen in the Nigerian Security Agency, 
a spokesman for the community in Gele Order confirmed the casualty figure, noting that when the police commissioner and his entourage visited the community on Thursday evening, they saw some of the bodies. They even look away six bodies. Some relations didn't, do, didn't release the bodies of their brothers and sisters to the police because of the extortions that usually follow after they take the bodies away from the before after they take away after they take the bodies away before they would be able to bury them he said when the sarah reporters reached out to the spokesman of the state for the state police commander with daniel and Dukweli declined to comment suspected x-men have killed 16 people including women and children in an attack on a autonomous community in Ahamu Fulonda is the local government area of Enugu State. Reports said the fresh killings occurred on Thursday when the gunmen suspected to be headsmen along with collaborators from Benue State launched an attack on Ebo Ishialu village. Community sources told Sarah reporters that the assailants wore military uniforms, which deceived the people and made them relaxed when they first saw them. Some residents who spoke to the medium said of as of 9 a.m. on Friday, the number of bodies recovered was 16 and that a search for missing people was still ongoing. Several people are also sustained gunshot injuries while about seven houses were raised by the invading assailant. Unduko Elolinya, a native of Eboishialu, said that it was difficult to determine the number of people killed because so many people had deserted the community. Now to my dear listeners, now come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by the comment section and let us know.